Now, a typical business, uh, a medium-sized business, would probably have all or a few of these business functions. You would have a strategy planning, strat planning team. Uh, you would have a product team where you create your products and, uh, or services. Uh, you would have a people operations. You would have HR, people ops, and then you have an ops team looking after your overall operations. You would have some sort of a finance team looking uh, after the, 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 the financial of the company. And then you would have branding, comms, or marketing, uh, right? Uh, depending on the size of your company, this could be either combined or, or separate uh, sort of divisions. And of course, your customer experience uh, team as well. Now, with all these different functions, the question that I ask a lot of my uh, consulting clients uh, at the first stage is, what is guiding all this what is guiding all your business operations right but before i share with you what should be at the core of your business make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you get informed of all the new videos that i put out every week on culture brand and customer experience what is guiding all your business operations and the answers i typically get oh it's our it's our goals right we, we set goals for for our years and our three-year plans and then the next question is, okay, so what is guiding those goals? And so the answers I hear is, oh, it's about, you know, our targets, it's about profitability, it's about uh, revenues, it's where we want to be as a business. Um, and some of them say it's our vision. We want to see ourselves as the most profitable business uh, here in Asia, or we want to be in the top five in our category. And, uh, you know, that's our vision that's probably guiding us. But what if today I told you there is something else that needs to be at the core of your business? Your North Star that is guiding you and influencing all your different divisions and guiding the decision making across all your business functions. And that one thing should be your purpose. Your purpose is the reason why you exist as a business in the true sense and the reason why you exist shouldn't be about making money right money is always an end result of having a purpose because you are here to fulfill a need in people's lives you are here to solve a problem you are here to create products and services that people want so that they can benefit in some way so your purpose is your greater good and the true reason why you exist as a business because you can approach it from a commercial point of view because that really is the result of having a good purpose, right? People buy from you because they feel that you're doing something good, you're creating amazing products in the world that change people's lives, that uplift people's lives in some way, make them happy, results in joy, feel fulfilling their needs, solving their problems. That should be your starting point for everything else in the business. Because quite frankly, if you don't have customers who are happy, who keep coming back and buying stuff from you, you don't have a successful business, right? Aside from the customer benefit, it's also the people that work for you, right? Your people need to feel energized that they're part of something bigger. Today, everybody wants to join a company that is serving a greater good in this world. They want to feel like they're working towards making a difference in people's lives. And, and more and more research is telling you that. So purpose serves multiple things, right? It guides everything that you do in the company. It brings about that fuel and power and, and, and energy in people within your company. And it creates that happy customer that keeps your business going. And so having a powerful purpose at the center of your business then anchors all your different business sort of divisions and facets and operations around this thing. And the problem is most companies haven't figured out that purpose. What is it that a core of that business that needs to be influencing and guiding all your business functions? Now let me give you an example of how this works in reality. And, and this is from a consulting project that I uh, did a couple of years ago for a, a big uh, white goods uh, manufacturing and distribution company. In the usual scoping and research work uh, before we begin the project, I found out that uh, there were a huge number of customer complaints and the Google reviews were really bad. And this has happened quite recently. Right, over the last six months. And I, so I went in and, and sort of did some digging in and I found out that there was a budget meeting in the beginning of the year and finance had asked all the departments to pull back on their spending and give back money so that the company could then still be profitable or look good to their shareholders. Now, as a result of that, the logistics side of the business had to give up their share 
And so they had less trucks and less personnel to be able to deliver the white goods within the two hour typical window that customers ex expect their goods to be delivered. And so that period had gone up to about six hours. As a result of that, you had a lot of frustrated and unhappy customers that were pouring their heart out in every possible way. And of course, Google Reviews is the one uh, today, one portal that everybody expresses how they feel about a company. So right at the beginning of the project, we figured out what should be the company's purpose. And it went from just a commercial statement to bringing joy to people's lives. So every time they bought uh, a, a refrigerator or a new cooking range or something, the, out, the result was that joy. They were living that lifestyle that they wanted. They were, they were able to entertain in style and, and, and have joy in that family, come around the kitchen and cook. And, and, and it was really about that celebrating, you know, having that appliance and what it does for them. And people then moved away from just a manufacturing company or a white goods company to bringing joy in people's lives. Now, you can begin to see here if finance is the key, if the KPI for finance was not about protecting the, the, the financial side of the, of the company, which normally they do, but if it was about delivering joy to their customers, then they would look at the critical functions that don't disrupt that for their customers. They would have thought about the impact it would have had uh, if they'd asked that particular department to pull back on the budget because it resulted in unhappy customers. And if this pulls in any direction, and they will, if any one of your business functions pulls or tends to move out of line, okay, your purpose pulls you back, right? Your purpose is your anchor. And it is the one key KPI every business should use where they set their strategies for all their different business functions, right? Is it going to result in fulfilling our purpose? Now, if you want to find out more about how to build a true purpose-driven company where purpose permeates through all your business functions, then do check out my website. There's a lot of information there on how to achieve this and how to build that dream business you always wanted.